Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Hi, I'm Jack Berry. We're here in our homeland, Jeff Lesson and myself, here in Southeast Michigan. And Jeff has been a radio man, WWJ, the, the ticket, that one, for how many years, Jeff? Oh, at least 18, Jack. But you know, I always said, when I grow up, I want to be Jack Berry, and I still say that. <laughs> one day I'll grow up. Okay, okay I'll trade. <laughs> I'll trade years. <laughs> so, uh, I've been on your program a number of times on Saturday and Sunday mornings yep. and you talk about a lot of golf courses how many uh, how many do you get in there how many have you played what are your favorites Wow <laughs> nothing like you put on a spot by the Dean of Michigan golf writers my god let's see my I have so many favorites Jack like you do you know it, you, I've been blessed as you were maybe not to the degree you were no one's been blessed that much folks but you know, I get to play a lot of courses. You know, like 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 Art and Jeannie do, and yeah. and it just it's a great perk of the job and doing editorial on them. And, and we in Michigan, as you know, are blessed to have not just some of the best courses in the entire country, but the most affordable. I mean, you can start anywhere. I mean, uh, anywhere from our, our Arcadia Bluffs up up north to to Forest Dunes to to Boyne to. Uh, the loon is beautiful these days, and I know I'm leaving tons out. That the gales at Lakewood Shores, uh, even Crystal Mountain for the family resort. I mean, it just never stops, and it's so much more affordable because you know as well as I do. You travel, you go to Arizona, you go to California, you go to Florida. You, you know what? You're paying $300 a round for the for the quality courses we get in Northern Michigan for less than a hundred bucks. Well, you look at that uh, Golf Digest and Golf Magazine and when they list their top 10 and so forth and the prices, the prices are what? I mean, uh, you've got to be the Donald Trump to be, to be paying and playing all of those courses. Yeah. That, that's not fun golf for me. No, no it's not, uh, but you know, we're blessed to be where we are, to be in a state where it's still a, the consumer's in control. Uh, we have still bought, what, the second most public courses in the country or something like that. Uh, and uh, well, talk about some of the runs uh, once around metropolitan Detroit where yeah. where you are heard uh, every Saturday and Sunday morning. Yeah, I mean, so many of them are here at the, at, at the Michigan Golf Show where we are this weekend. Uh, you know, some of my favorites, uh, uh, the Orchards out in Washington Township, uh, Shepherd's Hollow, those are some of the better known ones. But... You know, courses that have been around for a long time, like Tanglewood, for instance, and Southline, unbelievable values, but some of the best greens you're going to find anywhere. Or even like, uh, I like to call them uh, off the beaten path, stuff like Dunham Hills. It's right. been around forever, but those greens, these are public course greens that you're, you're going to forget you're in a public course. They're phenomenal. And well, we have the, well, the, the guys who started that, Gus Cronitis and his brother, and I forget who the other ones were, and they were they were big in the Michigan Public Golf uh, Golf League or Golf Association, yeah. too. And Dunham Hills was uh, just treated like, like royalty, and the greens there were always in superb shape. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you, get, you get greens that are running 10, 11, sometimes even more than that, you know, quicker than most private clubs, and they run smooth. And, and it's just amazing because... Uh, the price of upscale public golf, if anything, has gone down in the last 20 years. And what else can you say that about in this world? The, the price of great golf has not only not gone up, it's gone down. It's great to be a consumer of golf in the state of Michigan. How about uh, some holes that you like to play? Just different holes, threes, fours, fives. What, what uh, strikes you? Is... Well, my, one of my favorite holes of public courses is... Uh, I think it's either number 18 or 27 at Thesa Run, the Yard Hills, the wraparound five par risk reward uh, over the lake, you know, where some of the big hitters can go for it and two of you. So many, I like the holes that have so many options off the tee box. Uh, I love a lot of the holes at, at Lion Oaks that do that too. Uh, another, I'm a big Art Hills fan, and he's done so much great work, uh, not just nationally, but the state of Michigan. What are some of your favorites? Uh, well, favorite courses uh, around the. Uh Metropolitan area, I like uh, we were talking earlier today about the two nine-hole courses at Birmingham that that I enjoy. Uh, yeah. I, I play uh, uh, Majestic 
uh, the 20, 27 holes uh, that uh, Jerry Matthews did with uh, Ray Hearn and Some and, of uh, best work at the and oh I think it's marvelous Absolutely. especially the third nine the north nine wow the one across it's, the street yes Love it's it. like you are there by yourself yep. on on each hole and just a lot of fun to play I like uh, you know. Uh, like a lot of people, I like the elevated tees, you know, the drop shot, <laughs> drop shot holes. So I, I you know what else I like, Jack? And going back up north, and sorry for interrupting, but you and I both agree the game is challenging enough. We got to bring more fun back into it, and that's what like a course like the Tribute does up at the, at Seagull. And you know, it can play. It says 7,000 yards. It doesn't play that long because each hole, instead of going uphill for a blind shot. The car path takes you back up to the top of the hill. Like you're hitting down like a hundred foot drop almost every hole, and it's it's incredible. The vistas are beautiful, and it makes the game fun and easier to play. We need more places like yeah, that, don't yeah, we? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we're not on television because then you'd be able to see Jeff really gets into it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff gets his arms and his and his eyes and all into how much he loves the game, how much yeah. he loves courses here. It's all passion. It's never been my best sport, but it's one I love more than anything else in the world. So what else? Uh, what else do you have going now at this year? You've got uh, you got your radio show uh, that Michi start, Michigan, starts Michigan. Uh, the radio show starts Saturday, March 28th at 7 and 8 a.m. and 97 won the ticket and we'll be there through the end of August uh, giving you the best place to golf in the state of Michigan we have some of the best golf deals in the state of Michigan at lessonongolf.com and the Michigan Golf Weekly uh, is back uh, a visual tour of great courses around the state of Michigan on CBS 62 uh, that'll start depending upon the weather probably sometime in May Saturdays at 6 p.m. right after the PGA Tour coverage by the way I really got engrossed in the game uh, when I, I picked up a book called Rating the Courses. I don't remember who the heck wrote the thing, but Jack Barry. What's that, Stone Age? First, was first or second Age? edition. And that's when I really, really became engrossed in the game. Seriously. Blame him for me, okay? I tried to be him. I, no one could ever be him, but I tried, and he's responsible, folks. Blame Jack Berry for Jeff Lesson. Okay, thanks, Jeff. <laughs> it's been good talking with you. You too. Jeff. <laughs>